Siblings fight is always sweet. They always fight over a single thing. If there is only one chocolate available and if they both want it, how will mom solve this problem? She will just split it into two equal parts. Similarly, when two loads require supply from a same transformer, how this problem is solved? In this case, instead of regular transformer, center tap transformer is used. A center tap is a contact made to the point halfway along a winding to a transformer. This center tap is grounded. This provides two separate voltages which are out of phase with each other and has the same magnitude. That means VA and VB has 180 degree phase shift. To learn how this center tap transformer is used in full wave rectifier, continue watching. Hi, this is Benila. I make videos based on electrical and electronic concepts. If you are into this, consider subscribing. In this video, we are going to see about full wave rectifier. Before that, let's refresh our half wave rectifier. I'll post the link to my half wave rectifier video and other useful videos in the description box below. The half wave rectifier has a very simple circuit. It has a diode which has two terminals, anode and cathode. The diode will allow the current to flow only from anode to cathode. During the positive half cycle, the current flows in this direction. Since the current direction is from anode to cathode, the diode acts as short circuit. Now, our load is connected parallel to the secondary winding of the transformer. Therefore, the load voltage will be equal to the secondary winding voltage. Similarly, during the negative half cycle, the current flows in opposite direction. That means the current direction is from cathode to anode. Therefore, diode acts as an open circuit. Therefore, there will be no current flow in the circuit. So, the voltage across the load is zero. If you look at our output waveform, only half of the input waveform is rectified. But in full wave rectifier, we need the whole input waveform to be rectified. Now, let's consider the same circuit and provide a small change in the input of this circuit. Let's provide a 180 degree phase shift to its input voltage. Therefore, our input voltage waveform will be like this. Now, what is the output waveform for this circuit? During the negative half cycle, diode acts as open circuit and the load voltage is zero. During the positive half cycle, diode acts as short circuit and the load voltage will be equal to the secondary winding voltage. Now, if we combine the output of these two circuits, we'll get our required full wave rectifier output. So, our full wave rectifier circuit can be designed by combining these two circuits. For that, instead of using two transformers, we can use center tap transformer, which will also satisfy our condition that the input of the second circuit should have a 180 degree phase shift. Now, the full wave rectifier circuit will be like this. If you see clearly, this is our first circuit and this is our second circuit, which has a 180 degree phase shift. This is a common load for first and second circuit. During 0 to pi, the diode D1 acts as short circuit and D2 acts as open circuit. Therefore, load voltage is equal to VA. During pi to 2 pi, the diode D2 acts as short circuit and D1 acts as open circuit. Therefore, the load voltage is equal to VB. This process continues and we'll get our full wave output waveform as this. The load current will be equal to V0 divided by R. The average output voltage V average or VDC is equal to 2VM divided by pi. And the RMS value of output voltage is VRMS is equal to VM by root 2. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will be notified each time I upload a video.